We've got another cool ES2015 feature for you this week, default parameters. In the past, if you wanted a function's parameter to have a default setting, you had to check and see if it had been passed a value, and if not, set it, like this. Let's see that in action. There we go. That's kind of tedious though, right? ES2015 introduces a much better, cleaner way to do it. You can now define a default right in the function declaration. If you pass a value, it'll override the default. If not, the default will be used. Observe. Let's go ahead and run that. Perfect. Be careful though of passing falsy values as parameters. Undefined will trigger the default, but no other falsy values, such as null or false, will. So this code returns possibly undesired results. Check it out. That's probably not what you're looking for. It's also important to note that defaults are generated at runtime and aren't global. So you can't, for example, keep using a function to append to an array. This code will generate two different arrays. As expected. But that's no good. We want Ace and Rictus to take their proper place on the road to Valhalla. The way to do that, of course, is to take the returned array and pass it back into the function, overriding the default, like this. This should give us what we want. Sure did. Want to see something weird? You can reference default parameters in later parameters. Here's an example. Let's check that out. Perfect. Do default parameters work with variable destructuring, you ask? Well, is Imperator Furiosa an unbelievable badass? The answer is, of course, yes. Witness me, bloodbag. That should give us what we're looking for. And it did. As you can see, default parameters are super flexible and can come in handy in a variety of situations. They're supported by all of the latest browsers and every version of Node.js since at least 7.x. And of course, you can always transpile them down to ES5 with something like Babel, if you need to. Next week, we're going to talk about object shorthand. That should be a quick one, but it's another time and code saving ES2015 improvement that's well worth learning. See you then.